Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to the channel. Internal combustion engines are among the most important inventions of mankind. They have paved the path for many other important inventions. Internal combustion engines are designed to take in exactly the right amount of air so that the fuel burns properly. Getting the air-fuel mixture just right is the job of a mechanical device called a carburetor. Carburetors vary a lot in their complexity and design. The simplest one is the Venturi carburetor. This carburetor has a vertical air pipe located above the engine cylinders with a horizontal fuel pipe joined to its side. As the air flows down the pipe, it has to pass through a narrow protrusion called the Venturi in the middle of the pipe. This causes a pressure drop in the vertical pipe which creates a suction on the horizontal pipe and draws fuel through the fuel lines. IC engines require fuel and air in a certain ratio of mixture to function properly. This is controlled by two swiveling valves located above and below the Venturi. The top valve is called the choke valve. This valve regulates the quantity of air that flows into the carburetor. When the choke is closed, a lesser amount of air flows in through the pipe and more fuel is sucked in. This is handy when you're starting the engine on a cold winter morning. The valve present below the Venturi is the throttle valve. This valve is connected to the accelerator of your car or bike. It determines the amount of air fuel mixture that gets into the engine. The more the throttle valve is open, the more air and fuel flow through the carburetor and into the engine. This causes the engine to release more energy which makes your car or bike go faster. The fuel inlet to a carburetor is slightly more complex than the flow pipe. A small mini tank called the float feed chamber is connected to the flow pipe. As the chamber feeds fuel to the carburetor, the fuel level sinks. This causes the float's level to drop. When the float falls below a certain level, it opens a valve which allows fuel into the carburetor to refill from the main fuel tank. Once the float feed chamber is full, the float rises and closes the valve. The working of this float is somewhat similar to the flush in your toilet. The delicate float is also one among the reasons why you have a close fuel tap in your bikes. If excessive pressure is placed on the float, it can cause it to bend. This permanently damages the carburetor. Well, that's it guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.